Good morning. I hope everybody's had a blessed weekend. And I want to share with you um, how excited I am this week. Um, Tuesday, Thursday, we will be having Zoom meets. And the Zoom meets are going to be amazing. We're going to have games, multiplication, division, math lessons, reading lessons, grammar lessons for the rest of the month until school ends. I want this rest of the few weeks that are left to be an awesome time that we could spend together and have intense learning with spelling vocabulary grammar and let's do all review for the things whatever it is the standards or assessments or things that the kids have missed really exciting time for you to practice with me and review third grade skills that this year have been missed or that gaps that there may be and we can go ahead and have fun while we learn. So today for Bible, we're going to have a beautiful study. But before we begin, let's go ahead and start with the word of prayer. Father God, we thank you this morning for your lovely blessing, for waking us up, for allowing us to be so incredibly blessed. Lord, I pray that you surround us with your angels and protect us and that we learn this Bible lesson. We put everything in your hands. In Jesus, we pray. Amen. So we've been talking about how special Jesus is to us, how, what a special friend, what a special friend he was to Lazarus, to Mary, to Martha. And now we also talk about how generous he is. So this week we will be learning about how generous God has been to us. And we found that we worship a God who is characterized by going beyond. God goes beyond with extraordinary abundance, so much that he gave his life. And he wants us to live an abound and abound in love and abound and have so much things that he gave us. And he's so excited to show us his great love and generosity, how generous he wants. He wants that by being our friend, by Jesus being our friend, it allows him to rub off on us that generosity, that love, that they could spend overflow and they could spill out in our actions as we interact with other people and so i want us to take this time that jesus gives us every day and study during this bible study and focus on what are we doing as as our as we prepare ourselves this week to be generous like jesus was generous why should we be generous that's the question this week why why I want you to think, why should we be generous? Why should we be giving and loving like Jesus was? Now, generous, let's talk about the definition of generous and what does generous mean to begin with. Um, generous is a person or, yeah, Jesus was a person himself, God himself, and it's a person, and it could be us, our parents, our family, showing a readiness to give more of something as money or time or any necessity, anything, anything. You give it with so much love, bountiful, unselfishly, with a good nature, kind hearted, without anything in return. You do not expect anything. So it's like doing something for your mom, for your dad, for your brother, for your grandparents, for your sister, without expecting something in return. That's being generous. Doing something for other person. That's a generous person. Now, why should we be generous? That's what I want us to think about this morning. We are learning this week. This is our objective. And what I want us to think about, we are learning to show Jesus generous love in our thoughts number one in our thoughts Put your head like this in our thoughts in our words touch your mouth like this in our words and in our actions and we're going to go like this like we're acting like we're doing something like up for actions so we're going to show that generous love of god why we are learning to show jesus generous love in our thoughts in our words and in our actions, the things that we do to other people, our actions. So we choose, it's a decision. You choose to be generous because Jesus is so generous to us. Hey, we woke up this morning. We are breathing this morning. That's how generous he loves us. 
we are safe in our homes right now. When we are generous, we love each other well. Yes, that's how we show love, by being generous, by loving those people in your family circle, by loving your neighbors, the people got put in your community, the people got put in that, in that grocery store you go to, in that church that you go to. Showing generosity is showing the love of Christ. It's showing Jesus' love. Now, throughout this whole school year, you have been learning about God in your Bible lessons, your Bible memory verses, and we began to learn about some of the stories that tell us how God's generosity has been poured, has been poured out on his children. He's been generous in his ministry on earth. When Jesus was on earth, we have seen Jesus' generosity in every encounter. Every person that Jesus met felt his generosity. Every word, every action that Jesus did, he was a generous friend. As Jesus' friends, his spirit plants in our hearts a desire to be like him. So the more that you spend time with Jesus, the more you want to be like Jesus. Because of our selfish nature, it is difficult for us to show true selfless generosity. So if we see that we're not being, that we're being selfish, that we are not being true, that we're not being like honest and generous, and we're not loving other people, and we're just criticizing and hurting people and being mean and taking things and not thinking of your sisters or brothers or anyone, and it's just me, 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 then we need to find Christ. We need to find that time to be friends with Jesus and tell Jesus, Jesus, I'm sorry because I've been acting this way with this person, with my brother, with my sister, with my mom. I'm sorry, Jesus, because I hurt my mom because I don't listen to my dad or my mom or my grandma. I'm sorry, my grandpa, I hurt my sister. Whatever it is, you can ask God to forgive you and say sorry and ask to God to give you that love so you can be generous like Jesus. So the more you spend time with Jesus, the more you're going to be like Jesus. To live in this way is to live with a fountain of love bursting from within you. It's like this water bottle. I have this water bottle here. If I pour more water in this water bottle, it's going to overflow. It's going to spill with more and more and more and more and more water. And it's going to Touch. This water is going to touch everything around my life. When I continue to love Jesus, my life gets more water, living water. And God pours more and more water into me. This cup is like you. This water bottle is like you. This is like you right here. And Jesus wants to give you more water. But God, this water bottle, is for, it's, it has a lot of water already. But he wants to give you more. But sometimes our waters are not full. And we feel empty inside. And we feel empty with no water. But God gives you more water. He fills you up when you read your Bible. When you listen to worship music. God's music. When you pray. When you obey your parents. He pours more. He pours more and more and more and more. And it's going to get to a point where there's all full. The water is all full. But God continues to pour, and that water that he pours is going to overflow, and that overflow, that fountain is going to burst, and psh, so much water everywhere. All that water is going to touch everything around you. It's going to help you touch your family's hearts, touch the things, your problems around you. Whatever it is that you're sad, you need to find Jesus. So you can burst with the fountain of love. And it's such love is a gift we can get from God. Each day is not just a one-time prayer. Okay, I got it. No, every day 
we get that gift from God each day. And it's a gift he will always, always, always give generously, abundantly. So let's be bucket blessers. We're going to be like buckets. Here's a water bottle. But think of a bucket. You get a bucket and you fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. The more you fill up the bucket, the more you're going to pour to other people, the more you're going to give to your family. So I encourage you this morning to pray and ask God to forgive you if you have been hurting other people, if you haven't been generous. And this morning's activity, I'm going to give you these thinking bubbles. There's these little bubbles. And you're going to write inside the thinking bubbles. You're going to write, I want you to think about how you can be generous to others. What can you do to show love? To be generous and show love to other people, to your parents, to your brothers, sisters, to your neighbors, to your teachers, to your school, to your friends. What can you do? Spend some time in prayer. Ask God for that generous love so you can burst with love, burst with so much to give others and feel happy in your life. Feel that joy from God. So this week, let's be so excited about all the learning we're going to be doing. And let's pray and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.